Uh, so here we go. This is uh, the Sega Saturn booting up, clearly. And produced by Sega, official game, yada yada yada. And um, I'm going to remind you guys, this game came out in 1995. Um, it wasn't a launch title for the Sega Saturn, but it came out shortly after the Sega Saturn. So this is one of the very early games. Um, you know, we can look at this now and, and laugh. I mean, it doesn't look nearly as good as, like, say, Gran Turismo, but, I mean, that's a game that came out many years later. This is 1995. I mean, just just keep that in mind. Um, it was, of course, produced by uh, AM2 or whatever one of Sega's uh, uh, in-house divisions. It's it's a Sega game. It's clearly an arcade game. You may have seen this in the arcade, um, but I mean, there's three tracks and there's two cars. I think there's a hidden track and I think there's a hidden car. So maybe there's like three cars and four tracks, but I mean it is an arcade game. Um, there's you know not a whole lot to do. You pretty much just jump into this game. Um, the cars are licensed as Toyota Celica and a um, G a Lancia something or other. Geez, I should know this of all people. Uh, but anyways, so two two licensed cars. Um, I'm not sure what the third car is, um, the hidden car or whatever. I'm not even sure how you unlock it. Um, and then there's three tracks, like I said. Um, I'm just doing a practice run right now to kind of get a feel for the game. This is basically the first time I've played the game. And um, it's going to take some getting used to, of course. The cars drift a lot. Um, so, I mean, it's set up for a, a, a rally-style um, handling. And, uh, you know, there is uh, there is tarmac, as you can see here, and then, uh, you know, mud and dirt, and the car does handle differently, obviously, on the different surfaces. Um, there you can see, I'm just trying to get a feel for how, how far I can drift and and hold it really not doing very good right now. You shouldn't even be watching this, really. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll leave it in. So there's your external view, which of course I'm not really going to play in. Um, like I said, in most racing games, I I prefer the uh, either in-car or kind of front, front of the car nose view. Um, I can really rarely play a racing game in the external view. Uh, I just, I just find it too hard. get out of this practice stuff here. Um, you can change the settings on the car, which is kind of unique, I mean, especially considering it's an arcade game. Um, you can change the handling and the tires and the suspension. Um, you can change the blow-off valve. I'm not sure if that's <laughs> just the sound. Uh, you know, I, I probably have to give this game credit. Um, it's, I've got to say, probably the first game to have uh, the sound of a blow-off valve. Um, so, that, that's pretty neat. <laughs> uh, I could be wrong, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing there. So here I'm going to start the championship. I'm actually going through the game now. Um, I was just practicing before. Got a little bit of a feel for the controls, so I should be able to do alright. Now, like I said, there's only three tracks, and you basically go through them in order. And you start in last p place. Right now I'm in 15th uh, position. And you've got to work your way up between or across the three races so what you finish what, what 
The position you finish in in the first race will be the position you start in in the second race. And um, you got to work your way up as close as you can uh, within the three races. Um, so, like I said, it's a very ar arcade uh, style game. Um, it's, it's, I have to say, it's, it's rather fun. It's fast, it's smooth. Um, you get air. I mean, you gotta blow off sound every time you let off the throttle. <laughs> Which just makes the game instantly, uh, you know, great. Um, there's a lot of pop-up, as there is in a lot of early Saturn games. Um, uh, but that's not really a big deal, I guess. I mean, it's, it's not a bad looking game overall. Given its time. So here's the second race, and I'm going to start in whichever position I just finished in there. Was uh, four, ooh, 14th, all right. I guess I haven't gotten used to this game yet. Um, but it's definitely a fun game, and I'll have to play it a little more, get used to the controls uh, a little more, perhaps. Now here we go, I'm going to start passing everybody on this race, you'll see. Now they don't give you a lot of time in the checkpoints so on the second level, it does get quite a bit harder. On the first level you got lots of time, so even if you screw up, you'll still make the check checkpoints to get to the second race. Uh, but in this one, as you can see, uh, they don't give you quite as much time. <coughs> Here we go, passing that guy. That's how we do it. Oh, jeez, that's not how we do it. Yeah, this game's monster fun. If you're into racing games, it's definitely worth picking up. Um, it's, you know, definitely a good Saturn game. Early, early Saturn game. And, um... You know, if you're a fan of arcade racing games, uh, definitely worth checking out. And as you can see, I ran out of time. <coughs> like I was saying there, uh, they don't give you a lot of time there to get the checkpoints. So. And uh, that's the ridiculous game over song. Um, I I didn't make that up. That that's actually the game has a game over song, and. Um, has a lot of silly songs, actually, but that one has to take the cake. Uh, let's listen to that one more time, shall we?